everyone. Today I'm harvesting my potato seedlings and I need you to witness my absolute disaster. Uh, when I planted these TPS, these seedlings, um, I had some left over so I put them in pots, I put sort of um, 15 plants in pots at home and grew them out and this morning I harvested those and I was really pleased with the, the size of the tubers and the, the variety and everything else so I thought well I'll come and ha harvest these as well. They're not um, senescing yet um, but I'm not, it doesn't worry me to harvest them um, a little bit immature because I'm not selecting them for, for production today. But I had a dig around and they're not producing any tubers and the only thing different that, I, that I've ever done, the only reason I can think of that these are not producing is the black plastic because I've never grown under black plastic before. The soil here is really really poor but it's exactly the same soil as I had on my farm where I grew potatoes all the time. Um, which was just over the road here. So really, as I said, the only difference this year is the black plastic. So I'll let you see what I'm harvesting. There's a few microtubers, but that's about all. And it's so disappointing. I was so looking forward to, to growing some good potatoes. But maybe one or two plants will will have produced we'll find out okay so let's have a look okay I've pulled the tops off all the potatoes well in this particular row so I'll just pull back the black plastic as you can see there's no potatoes showing out of the ground roots and that's all. I'll just do a dig around where the roots of all these were. So far, so far the best I've seen is, is this one over here which has a few mini tubers. This is about as good as you as I'm getting at the moment, these little microtubers here. Really, really disappointing. See, just nothing on the roots. And the plants grew really well. Um, after the last video I shot, they started taking off. And then uh, and, and flowering and producing uh, producing seed pods, and that was it. No tubers. They've got plenty of roots, just nothing on them. And even these young plants should have tubers on them. Well, here we are with the pitiful harvest we got out of these beds. At least it wasn't a total write-off. Most of the plants have, have berries so I can get seed off them. They're just about mature enough to harvest. Once the, the berries um, are stored for a while, the seed will be viable. 
I did get some really nice little tubers. They're only tiny, but at least it's something to go on with. I'm really liking this. Oh, you may not see it. The camera's too far away. This this yellow and purple one here. It'll probably be have very yellow, maybe even orange flesh. And here's there's some more here that'll have very yellow flesh too. But um, really, it's pretty pitiful. Oh, I should have got many full-size tubers out of these plants, so I'm not going to grow under pl black plastic anymore. I know it's expensive and I can't afford it, but I'm just going to have to buy more black, uh, more big pots to put them in and grow them in those. At least the other plants that, that I harvested this morning from this seed lot um, were really good. I was really pleased, so... Um, I'll pick the best of these out and plant them in pots and, um, and we'll see how we go. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go and sit in the shade and I'll tell you about what I normally do with a normal harvest of this uh, first growing of, of um, seedling potatoes. Oh, that's better. I, it's less than 30 degrees here, but it feels like so much more. Okay, now I must be filthy. I went and washed myself down with the hose and then um, kept digging, so I've got dust all over me, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm filthy. Okay, so normally, as I've um, said in other videos, we get two growing seasons a year with our potatoes here. In most of Australia we can do that. Uh, in some places like along the coast where they don't get frost in it, you can grow potatoes all year round, just keep planting them and get three or four uh, harvests out of your potatoes. But anyway, when I, I plant seeds, and this is the first um, harvest from those young plants, I'm not looking for um, selecting them for for uh, production at this point or size of tubers or anything at this point I'm just selecting for um, plants that don't have long invasive stolons and um, that they actually have tubers on them any that don't like uh, like short day length plants plants that only produce tubers on short days going towards winter they've already self-selected themselves out of out of the gene pool so I don't have to worry about that so I'll plant these straight away and when they get these get harvested before winter that's when I start looking at um, at production um, in any long day length plants that only produce tubers at this time of year will have self-selected themselves out at the next harvest because I won't have tubers on them and um, so the next harvest I'll be selecting for production uh, for size of tubers and also for eating quality and, and uh, bruising and, and all of that sort of thing but at the moment all I'm after is tubers to replant oh and of course um, the next harvest I'll know what plants actually produce tubers in the heat because a lot won't okay and then after all that's done I will select the best of them um, a, a good variety of them even ones that I don't particularly like um, because I want a good variety of genetics but um, I will plant the next ones next spring early next spring and then they will be ready for sale around Christmas time at, during the first harvest because I'll have selected them for the qualities that I want at that time so they'll have three um, harvests by that time and I'll know exactly how they grow how they produce and I can tell other people about it okay so I'm sorry that I couldn't show you more and better potatoes, but look, 
no matter how experienced you get, you're always learning new lessons. And this one was a lesson for me. And I will learn and I won't do this. I won't plant like this again. Okay, so I will um, see you next time I've got something interesting to show you. So, <laughs> bye.